what, what the lady's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, family? One of these days, we're going to have an honest discussion and a breakthrough about whose responsibility it is to make sure that impressionable minds don't get exposed to graphic, violent, and sexual content too early. Recently, Lil Nas X was on The Breakfast Club. He was asked a series of questions about his personal life, his career life, and his detractors. DJ Envy asked him, did he feel any pressure with parents constantly saying that he has a responsibility there because young kids are watching, because children are watching him? Do you feel any pressure? I ain't gonna lie, fam. I knew he felt this way because all you gotta do is watch his actions and that'll tell you everything you need to know. But I never thought that he would say it publicly, especially on such a huge platform. When asked if he felt any pressure to tone it down, so that young kids don't get the wrong idea. Lil Nas X fixed his mouth to say, fuck your kids in that order. Fam, I saw the headline and I wasn't sure. I was like, uh, you know, let me see what context he said that in. And he said it in the context that I just said it in. He said, fuck your kids. And then he said, well, not fuck your kids, but Fuck your kids. Nah, fam, you don't do that. You don't ever fix your mouth to say something like that in that way. You don't do that. You don't do that. Now, I can understand if you're a racist and your kids are racist, you get what you get. Or your kids coming for my kids, ah, you get what you get. But just in general, fuck your kids? Nah, fam. Now, let's be clear. Each of us is responsible for what our kids consume. Having said that, it takes a village to raise a child. So each of us is responsible for looking out for one another. But ultimately, it falls on the parents because it starts at home. See, it wasn't fuck your kids when he was doing that old goofy ass song, uh, was it Old Country Road or something like that? That big song he had where he, you know, the black cowboy. He needed the kids then and he catered to the kids and he wanted them. The kids bought the tickets to the, well the parents bought the tickets, but the kids asked the parents to buy the tickets to the concerts. The kids bought the merch. It was the kids who bought the song. It's the kids who made him. So now that he's secured the bag, his attitude is, fuck the kids. But there are still people celebrating this dude. Obviously, he's being used. He's, he's, he's a clown. He's being used. And Perhaps he sees it, but he doesn't care. What I've noticed, what I've, I've conspicuously noticed is the absence of this headline in mainstream media. See, everything else he does, he's making headlines. But none of the big boys are covering the fuck you, fuck your kids piece. They're not talking about it. They have not mentioned it. And most of the blogs aren't mentioning it. I wonder why. Could this be part of 
the greater agenda. If Lil Nas X was Ghetto Boys, right? A group, an act that came from the mud that started out with explicit lyrics, targeting young adults, not kids, adults. I could probably see him saying something like that. Not giving him an excuse to say it because ghetto boys ain't never had the mentality of fuck the kids. We knew when we put out our music that the kids, that would be kids listening to it also. But we didn't cater to the kids, he did. We knew kids would listen to it, just like Richard Pryor knew that my generation would listen to, as a kid, we would listen to what he was saying, even though his music, I mean, his jokes were for grown folks to consume. Kids are going to find their way to the music one way or another, especially the more you tell them that it's not for them, it's censored, it's rated R, rated X, whatever, the more they're going to try to get their hands on it. So you know that there's going to be a certain percentage of kids going to eventually get their hands on this stuff no matter what. But even coming from the mud and making the music with the explicit lyrics in it, Ghetto Boys would have never made that kind of statement. We've never been wired like that to say fuck the kids. Imagine Molly Cyrus, Molly Cyrus coming up the way she did Hannah Montana. And all of a sudden, she decides she wants to do something sexually explicit like she did on MTV. I think it was MTV Awards or something like that with Robin Thicke when she got all freaky and nasty. And somebody asked her about it, her responsibility to the kids, and she said, fuck your kids. How would that have went over. But this little statement that he made, that kind of like sweeping it under the rug, and this is views, this is the kids. But he's saying, fuck your kids. They want what they want. I personally believe that they want to fuck your kids. Literally. I've seen uh, many uh, statements where certain people out there were saying, we want your kids. We're coming for your kids. Yeah. So how does that go? Lil Nas X don't deserve no empathy. He's being used for an agenda, and it is a very destructive agenda. And he don't deserve any empathy when he get what he get. He will get what he get. He gonna get his end wake wake up call. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. The Nas X. Fuck your kids. Now, nah, sucker. Fuck you. No more talk. What the haters talking about?